Hello and welcome back. Right. One thing we have got to do is get cracking with this. Oh dear. Let's go in a little. Do you know, I think a bit of incav is called for. We shall do any fixing work afterwards. I think. Yes, I have been having some thoughts about the sugar factory and it did come to my attention. Obviously today is literally all about um, seeding, planting even, getting ready for this coming year. I, the actual factory itself, it came to my attention that I am seriously missing a bit of a trick. Obviously we can buy product now, we know we can. But I've only put sugar cane in. Sorry, sugar beet in. Well, I should be putting both in. Would be the most sensible thing to do. And I agree, actually would. Now going with the um, selling option, I've obviously been watching that the price seems to fluctuate so that it must be based upon some sort of average but it's not a very good average I know if I sell this product manually I would get an awful lot more I mean an awful lot more but but the price of the stuff that we're buying is reasonable so we are going to make profit I also know that as a, as a content creator I keep saying this all the time my main job is literally to make sure that um, that the content's interesting and I already know after having done this on my other on my whole Belleron that you watching me every single session lug that lug the, lug the pallets from there to the sell point to sell that manually would not exactly be the most interesting of content so I think in the interest of content creation the only option I really have got is to do as I'm actually doing which is literally to put it on selling I think so which means I've got a compromise luckily the product we're using sugar cane and sugar beet are both reasonable but I think I should get both of them in so that the factory is working to full capacity that way we're maximizing on on the income we're getting from the factory uh, this little patch there Newer wood in cab. It's not. It's more about going by a feel than anything. I could be missing an entire strip now. I'm trying to gauge it next time we come round, so we know roughly how much we've got to be out. I did also have one thought yesterday when I was on about. I'm sure but the periodic ploughing setting is absolutely nothing to do with um, when you have corn or any of the um, root crops in. It never used to be an FS19 but I don't know that it isn't now. It could be that periodic ploughing means literally don't plough and ignore any ploughing requirements. So it may be in truth that that the fact that this doesn't need ploughing I mean to be to me to be honest it seems totally bugged out sugar beets as I said having done sugar beets quite a lot quite a lot actually even in the old game in FS19 
means that it's not is something that I would be aware of because it's a product that I used to very closely have to keep tabs on because of doing sugar in FS19 I was did sort of scientifically test it so right, that looks to me about right let's see a bit there. We shall fix it later on. Just change one second and see how we're doing. Oh, we're not bad actually. Not too bad. Just remind myself, have we did I take any contracts for today? I didn't. Fertilizing job. Oh, did I check the I would imagine I did, I usually do. I enjoy checking the sales. Highlight of my day. Nope. Nothing for us. I did definitely check that I remember them. I've ever ever done so much in fact on this let's play I don't think I've ever hired a worker I did threaten it other than the fact that sometimes you click on the button and it does that faulty the worker thing I have never employed a worker properly So, oh, I lifted and I knew it wasn't in. Ah, didn't quite go far enough the time before. Right. Sorry, I realised I was going a little bit quiet then. It's not nice to be uh, going 
and speechless when you have guests so yes FS22 initial thoughts please by all means let me know in the comments what everyone else thinks I now I've watched and played FS19 was the very first game that I've actually found with the FS um, entire series so I've got not that much experience of previous games but I am actually I look after computers and I'm a massive um, fully aware of companies like Microsoft and the way that they do their upgrades um, and I've got to be honest that I have watched this since FS19 it, very early on I, I literally played from the very beginning of FS19 or very close to the beginning of FS19 I also watched content creators from the very beginning of FS19 literally and I did very much expect that playing FS22 at the very beginning was going to be you sort of pretty much almost like beta testing because it was quite like that in the FS19 when I used to watch Dagawin and Mr. CDP on their Ravenport and Felsbrun and Let's Play so I did expect you know there to be some bug testing and, and things like that but in saying that I've got to be honest I with this being my area of expertise and what I am used to myself, I, I don't think enough playtesting was done. Seriously, I think this has been released way too early. The game looks, it does look playable, but there is too much that's broken. There are even bars that don't work correctly sometimes uh, on my Hob Aileron. One of my tractors reads with the mod down there at 59% but the bar reads at about 30% even things like that H harvests multiple harvests are broken so as a player it's it's still stable definitely I've never seen I have seen lighting effects that are wrong where the graphics engine obviously isn't engaging correctly with people's graphics cards but that's the flickering that's involved with that is not a lot I, and I, I haven't seen that I don't think since the first couple of days so I think that is something that Giants has addressed but there is still in my opinion based upon my experience it, not enough playtests now, now I know everybody does that Microsoft does exactly the same they let the people in the wilds as they say literally do the playtesting and I understand that, I, I truly do and I expected that to a degree but I still do think that it's this is, was released a little too early a friend of mine was talking to me about another game and they were saying that um, they they said to their the people who were looking forward to the game being released that they weren't releasing it now till February it, it does come a certain time where in all honesty as a, a, a software house that if you know your game is not ready you should not release and looking at the things with FS22 it's it is a good job I think that there are so many die hard and, and I do understand a lot of people may wanting to probably stay on FS20 FS19 for a few months and I think that's probably a what I'm a, obviously a content creator so to me there was no choice you've got to come on this game is semi finished definitely it is bug ridden and there are faults um, with a, all manner of systems and yet the faults are minor sometimes equipment sticks well it did on FS19 even when that was completely finished there were still mods that clashed and things like that so yeah but still all things considered I still think obviously it's for you as a player if you're playing this early on is to expect that things are not going to be right um, and that Giants really in my opinion shouldn't really have perhaps released it just yet should have done definitely a bit more bug testing but that's just an opinion it's still playable but it is definitely 
a work in progress and then some still enjoying it though I, I am but I have got to be sort of there are I am more aware than anything that it's not finished this field to me is bugged um, soy sugar beets are bugged presently either that or they've completely changed the model and it's become a completely different product because as I say with doing sugar beets so much this field if this was FS19 I may well have got something like 400,000 from it I got 88 tons so that's a humongous great difference I mean it may be that they have changed the model and this is the new what you would get from a field of this size and that will become quite obvious over time that that is the case if that is what is actually happening now but it's weird because other products like oats that I've obviously played with in game and I've even did that co a contract on Hobella on that went wrong before I knew that oats were bulked and it wasn't worth doing them that obviously the capacity that I got off the field though was right with what I would have expected to get from a field of that size so it doesn't seem to be again that everything is bugged in that way I mean the contracts are bugged that's another thing you've got to choose wisely it does look like I've never had any problems with the spraying or fertilizing jobs now we must be selling product it's gone up since when we first came on so are making some progress and I say with going round and round the only disadvantage is it looks for quite a while like you're not getting anywhere that's because you're literally going on all four sections but you are actually making good progress it's just the field seems to shrink for a while and you don't look like you've done anything but uh, forward to doing this this year with the extended field it's uh, yeah to see really I suppose it what to test the new my new theory what I've just said to see if this increases at the same ratio as last year's then I'll know that obviously sugar beets is temporarily stable and that is the new amount that you're going to get from this particular product or whether with us planting or seeding no planting I was right first time whether it actually works properly we shall see I'm quite looking forward to it to be honest we shall also have a look being as we're leasing on whether leasing the next size up from the smallest is more viable or just slightly dearer because if it is I'd sooner obviously plant in a bigger way than I would with a tiny three meter but it depends on the price difference I don't mind uh, socking it with a three meter this is quite a new experience to me to be honest the way that things are going it's because I'm normally a coarse player sort of player and are usually workers the fact that workers are so expensive has meant that on this particular let's play 
I've literally done all of the work myself, which actually I've quite enjoyed, if I'm honest. But I mean, obviously, you do use workers for a reason. In that, no man is a one, no body is a one man or one woman army. It's it's seriously, every good farm would employ workers to assist. I mean, of course, we're only a one field farm, but we're obviously still contracting, so it would be nice to employ another worker to be our contractor but as things are with the game as it presently is I'm not sure that that's a presently an option making headway now. Let's say you get to a certain stage and you realise you are making headway because you can see that the squares are getting small. That's why I do love this. It, you go from a few minutes before thinking, oh my life, I'm not going to actually, I'm never going to finish this, to like thinking, oh I can see the other side now. plants are we going to use. I am loving that uh, mod by uh, 82 Studios, that is amazing. So miss my container mod. Boy was that good, I used to rely on that so much. Had a terrible flow rate there, that is amazing and reasonable so yeah. Always used to love the 82 Studios mods, love their trucks. The uh, God, I've missed a bit there, let's just go over that again. Right, yeah, I used to love their trucks. Used to be well, my vehicle of choice if I was going for a car type truck. In fact, it wouldn't be the first time I've actually used the truck as a truck truck with it having the fifth wheel very early on with some of the smaller bags. In fact actually no thinking about it, I have actually used it for some of the bigger bags as well. A bit naughty but it did work. It didn't like it but you could get away with it for a bit until you could afford a lorry. Wow. These few minutes we've lost 3% on everything. and then I don't know which it maybe actually is better now th at this point where it is like to actually do what I've done thinking about it sometimes you've got to go with your instincts haven't you side I think as well. I should change view just for the cleaning up but I seriously don't think I did too badly. I'm quite pleased with that. There's a little tiny bit that I think was a bit previous on my lift up just here. But that is not bad. 
Let's just have a quick look and make sure. Oh, there's another one. I see it. And there was definitely one here. I did notice that for ages. A frond of green sticking out. Not bad though. Oh, I can see another bit where I've not quite done my lift right. Oh, there's two bits here. Just there. Let's get my line right and then I'll do them both on the same line. Excellent. Now that to me. Not bad. Not bad, Mr. Smith, for a bit of in cap. Let's just grab this bit here. He didn't do so good on that one. Okay, I'm not on ploughing. Right, let's stick this against our building. It's not going to hurt. Makes it feel a bit more like a farmyard. Right, so let's go and have a look then. Planter. Must remember to pick the if the planter we're using has got a fertilizer attachment. Must remember to pick the fertilizer up from the shop. We've got plenty from the contracts we've been doing. So the beautiful thing is it's going to rain in a bit, which is excellent because it means it's going to water the seeds, the plants. Which is brilliant. Right, let's get ready. Right, so we want planters for. Oh, wow, that's a huge, massive leap from the Falcon to the Amazon. Wow. I don't. I'm just testing. 5,000. No. Three thousand. Mm -hmm. It's getting a bit more reasonable. Six meters. Ooh. I think so. Yes. Now then, this is small, isn't it? Is this supposed to have the front thing on it as well? Or has it just got... No, it has got things, hasn't it? Oh, it has got both as well. I, I, I realise they're only going to be small, but the, let's face it, it's not really a major issue. We've got a container right next door to us. Just check, it's not. Oh, you just refill actually like that. It doesn't actually open these, there's no animation on the box, so that's alright then. Most of them open, don't they? So, 195, yeah, I'm going to need to keep topping up with that, aren't I? Must have an unfolder because it said it was 6 metres. This does not look 6 metres to me. This is my type of um, planter, to be honest. Those that expand, yeah, it is. These are my favourite type of ever 19. I used to always go for massive 12 metres and, and plus, uh, and then eventually in the end, I used to go for a I may have to change my way in uh, FS22 though with the worker scenario. If it's all me then I would like to go a bit bigger than... Now that's one little thing, let's just quickly jump out and see what those bales are doing. Just seeing if... I uh, need to stick field in farm for one minute. Oh, I always pick the wrong side. Field info. It's on the other one, isn't it? I always get mixed up on which one. Field info on. 
7,250. Ah, yeah, I think it was 7,005, so that's the last 250. Well, we'll keep our eye on it. We will. Okay. It's, it's not the end of the world if we truly do... Uh, Excellent. Now then, we want to change to soy sugar beets. Excellent. Now we need to unfold. Ooh, that does look nice. That's a nice size. A little bit dearer too, but it should we should be able to get our field done quicker. Turn it on. Drop it down. Excellent. Wow, that is a completely different texture. Wow. So I'm going to do it again. I'm not sure if it wastes any. No, it doesn't. It doesn't start to go down until you get the ground that you've not done yet. So that's not bad. Ooh, I'm liking this. We've expanded our field already. Excellent. So you cannot go on an uncultivated section. It's not planting. So I need to... Oh wow, that is interesting. So you cannot plant on a... Switch field info on a minute. Oh. It's just a different state. It just looks different. Oh wow! Yeah, I can see the dark. It's very unsure. Wow. Does need lime. Oh, should I put lime on first? I think. I think we're going to take the hit this year just on the new bit, and we'll lime the whole lot next year. Seriously. technically when you're using the subsoil, I love the subsoilers for that very reason, it's really supposed to be a sort of ploughing but with a cultivated state, which is why I like them so I've never had any problems with them before, it's obviously that's rather strange because it's given us a different texture on the freshly ploughed bit to the bit that was planted last year so yeah, very strange
by the look of this, we should probably be able to do almost two rounds before we need to top up. We're not going to run across the store though, that would be silly and very counterproductive. We would just top up here. overlap just a tad Does it eats into the field quite well, a six metre. Quite pleased with that. A little bit dearer to lease, but yeah. Must look for these every day on special as well. A few bits and bobs. Don't mind actually going back into debt to buy pieces of equipment that we actually do need. It's not a. I've got to be patient. If we need things, we've got to lease or buy. But if we, if we've got the money, of course, I don't mind it at all. But we've got to make the most of the sales with us being a very poor farmer. And we also need to maximise on our factory because that is that was a big investment. We've invested a lot of time and effort in that, so we need to maximise what we get through that. So after this we're going to do some sugar cane as well. We're going to literally grab some sugar cane from the foreign markets and literally lug that into the factory to maximise on what we've got. Especially being as it's very... It can be as low as 500 the investment, so some you could as little as double your money, which is quite nasty, but you can as much as um, almost quadruple. Obviously the amount that you put in is halved, you literally it's like 500 for 250, so I, I understand that you're only going to double your income, but it's the amount that you pay for your product, both sugar beet and sugar cane are quite reasonable so you you should be making profit no matter what you do based upon those two products right I don't think we could probably do three but as we're passing we will I'll do this row and then we'll literally uh, Let's just get this about so that we're pretty much on a, r a long run. Got to work with the field, haven't you? And with your gut sometimes. to the top and then we should literally come back down and refill not sure if we'd make another run all the way around with what we've got left in and I don't want to be not fertilising at the same time it seems very silly to me in fact actually it makes more sense I'm just pulling up next to 
next to the filling station, which is about now. It's not sure if it accepts it when you're fully engaged. Oh, probably could do with a bit of a weight on the front. Get away with it, but. not, is it like the old ones, you need to come back on and it'll sense the other one. Okay, that's interesting. No, there's no opening. See if we unfold whether it'll. No. Okay. Let's refold that. We will go and fill from the shop. To be honest, I'm not uh, not faffing around. We know it does actually do fertilizer, but hey ho. For some reason, it's not liking this. We're not going to waste any time, we'll just literally go and fill it from over here. Smash in. Excellent. Should keep this going for another few minutes. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. It really is. It's nice to be back with an old friend. I do love the case. Can't wait till we can afford to upgrade it to its full potential. It'll do us proud for a long while. Making good headway, really. Fold. Oh, no. Unfold. Turn on. And drop down. Shouldn't take as long to be. Uh, we'll, we'll use all my plates, as you know, literally. It's amazing how long a bigger task like this does take. I didn't think it'd take the entire session to do this. We will definitely top that up though. As well, the uh, sugar factory with the sugar cane, we'll do a couple of runs of that until we've literally put, it gets through about 20 tons a day. So if we always make sure that we've got, we've got to be careful. I mean, as we get more money, it would be advisable to, to fill it up quite a lot, but at the minute, as long as we've got 20 tons in a day one load of both that should do us till the next day it seems to be about 20 tons is what it uh, gets through in a day so I'm going to need to hire a sprayer as well at some point to uh, herbicide. Not bad, not bad. In fact, if we're Lever, we should be able to do a full run. Let's see that what plants could bend to that degree. It's not 
Ooh. Oh, of course. Right. We should carry on with this run and then we'll just finish that. I'd forgotten. We'd I can't believe I did that. Didn't come back to the exactly same place. Wally. Let's go straight up then and we shall rectify my mistake. Very strange having the two different textures for the same thing. This green stippled and then the other's just brown where you can just see the fertilizer. Very strange. But there's no consistency. Oh well. That's my timer telling me that we are my session's over, we shall finish this though, and we shall also put the uh, sugar cane in there and check on the sugar beet before we... In fact, we may also run through till the next day. We shall see what contracts are available. If there's some decent fertiliser or sprayer jobs, then we will take them and we won't speed through the day. But if there aren't any, we will just literally rush through till April. going out a bit but is that a bit I've missed just there a little slightly lighter patch let's just go over it just to make sure I don't want to be missing anything yeah it does look like I have like I lifted the planter for a second Let's just level this off. We'll do a fresh room from the top. to strip in the, on that little bit there. We should have to have a look on the map, field map, see if there's any blobs that are missed when we finished or we think we finished. Oh, that 
little thing still looks like we've not done it. Might be just field texture then. There was always a bit of that on yeah, it is. It's exactly the same. There was always a bit of that with FS19 as well, where there was weird shadings in places. So. Just about do this room, and then we need to go grab some more fertilizer from the store. Yeah, there's a bit on that line, I can see it, it's still. Yeah, there is quite a bit of a line. Don't need to look at the map to see that that's true. go over that again. Actually I think the fertilizer will last us another another strip looking at that. I didn't mean to press you. I have a unbroken record of manual working. Apart from mistakes like that, and I wish to keep it that way. For once it would be nice to actually work under your own steam, especially until the farm gets bigger and we can afford workers. If we ever can on FS22, I'm hoping this is something that's eventually rectified, because it was part of the game to be uh, playing with the uh, help us. It's very useful to be able to set one going whilst you go and do all the jobs. And I do love the uh, the fact you can send them to from one place to another and looping and all of that is amazing. It's just the cost. It seems very easy to spend money and not so easy to earn. missed a bit there as well and that's again it's the different textures I think we, yeah I reckon we'll get one more line out of that looking at it how much we used on that last one I think I've got that right. Let's just be a little bit more generous on the overlap. Actually, the fertilizer's going on slower than I thought. We'll do another lap, another line as well on that, the way that's going down. Yes, I definitely do like this planter. It would be one I would choose. Not sure how much uh, I used to almost definitely go on no-till. Um, I don't know if this actually does is a no-till or not. I didn't look because I wasn't. Being as we knew or I'd ploughed, I wasn't really worried about it. Oh wow! I think we should actually do another row as well. We may even finish. We shall see. I don't want to be running out of fertilizer. Let's have a look. I 
We might actually, looking at that, how that's going down. I think this will be the last room. I think we may just about do it. Excellent. We'll eject the little bit that we've got left. We'll fill the seeds because it would be useful if we were going to ever do a seeding contract to actually have a, a, a quite a big substantial amount, not 122 litres, that's not really that uh, useful. We will have a quick look on the... oh wow. Yeah. That's what I call... Let's have a quick look to see if there is any bits we've missed on the field. No. No, that looks all completely... Ah. One tiny little dot. But everything apart from that... Let's go and have a look down that bottom end. Something down here. One dot. Ah, well it's that bit that I think we've tried to do at least twice now. It doesn't seem to want to take. Or is it that bit there that's dark? Let's try it. No, it w wasn't near where we were, but wherever it is, it's not... Yeah, it's not taking. Right, no worries, it's not the end of the world, as it's one tiny little blob. Wow, I'm quite impressed with that. So that is our field, fully extended, oh let's fold that back in oh I was going to put some seed in once I yeah. let's see, interesting to see how much this costs as well actually Three hundred ninety-two. for 380 I know it's more reasonable than the shop everything's about a quarter, 25% less so that is quite amazing certainly the break I was looking for from when we started because actually uh, base game prices are expensive it's hard to actually make much profit I won't say any, you can but it is tough On my other Let's Play, I've got that field on the right there, 56. That's my main field. On my, uh, on this map, that is. On the, oh yeah, let's eject my bits and bobs. Okay, okay, let's have a look then. Where's my unload? and get that key configuration wrong. Right, let's drop this off at the shop and tell them it's here so they can stop the clock. Brilliant, excellent. Now then let's have a quick look. Contracts for today if there are any more. No, it's still that one fertilising job, isn't it? What's that? 6,001 sugar beet. Oh, we're using pretty much what we were using. Is that 4.5? Reduced by 1,157. Let's look at that field. 69. How big is that? If it's medium size, that's not a bad... Ooh, no, that's a monster field. It's going to cost a fortune in seeds to to do that, looking at that. No, we shall pass. We shall do what we said. We shall work on our own business. We shall literally grab some sugar cane and stick that in, in the factory as well. 
and then we should speed up till tomorrow morning and see if there are any fertiliser or spraying contracts. Right, that's us planted at least, that's good news. Let's have a look at the productions menu. We have, oh yeah, we've got plenty, 90,000. Plenty. So we now need some sugar cane. That way we're going to maximise. Now, where is my. It's over there, isn't it? I left it at the side, I remember. Yes, we'll do one full load of 30 odd tons. That way, each day we should be increasing how much is in there by 10 tons. Do you know that isn't in the best of places thinking about it? Let's grab it while we've got a bit of time. We can actually run down the side of that with that. Um, but when that's there, it's actually in the way. Let's stick it actually back there, where there's room to still pass. Excellent. left ourselves that tiny bit of room to be able to get around the edge of the field. Uh, yes, I will not kid in, it was a tiny bit of room as well. Talk about a bit close to the... Uh, I suppose it's a human nature to try to maximise on what you've got. Right, let's just get this in then. Sugar cane. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Not quite think I might need to take those two out ones down yet. Yeah. Got to streamline everything, haven't you? So it's all a grand for each 10,000. What does that? That tree's really going to need to come out, isn't it? Does that gate open? No, it doesn't. So it's only a pedestrian gate. Yeah, we're going to have to, I think, uh, invest in a chainsaw and just do a little bit of fine-tuning on our field to maximise got so that these roots are nice just remember to activate this before we uh, Okay, let's do the productions menu and sugar beets. Let's activate that. Brilliant. That's two products now. That's literally should double the output of the sugar and make our business model even better. Excellent. So that's us fully fully done for the day. Let us sleep through till tomorrow. And March, we get into the time where seven should be alright. March, April. 
it should be reasonably light let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong probably wrong no me I have a habit of it oh oh no maybe oh yeah that's fine actually vehicle leasing costs I've paid for that oh excellent 83% weed, 73% oh it's trying to calculate the amount ah now this is interesting oh no it's telling me the sugar mill I was thinking it was trying to show me how much capacity I'd got off the field right excellent oh, I'm making that this it's good 25 grand so 9,000 overnight profit it's not bad let's have a look at the daily my favorite time of the day cedar not much use to us is it really but that is a very good price I could actually do seed in you gotta think of we could actually use that cedar it's a four meter it's not bad if workers ever come to a reasonable amount if it's all an if button and maybe though isn't it if it was a planter I'd say yes it's an ideal model the trouble is that is is really good oh, it's a lovely tractor but we cannot afford it and at present with what capacity we've got and not using workers an awful lot was only me working so let's we'll, have, well, we'll go for that extension I don't know that's do we need that in for a smaller field I think that'd be handrail I don't know what that means it means I'm not been a farmer I'm not sure Not, that doesn't mean anything to me. No, I want to add a license plate. Type 2. Lovely. Now then, let's buy it. Excellent. Right. Let's have a look at contracts for the day. It's always fine. It's the best time to get them. Is first thing in the morning. Ooh, some fertilising contracts. Any spraying yet? That's no, a little early, isn't it? Okay. We need to borrow items. Yeah, no, it did let me have it. I thought it was another disappearing contract. Field 11, yes. And field 53, yes. Excellent. That is not bad. 11, 31, 53. Right, we shall save it there. 17,000 to do us for fertilising cash and we've, oh actually thinking about it, we've actually got quite a stockpile so we might actually be alright. Anyway, without any further ado I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you continue on this journey with me. We are making progress I think, to be honest. Well, looking, comparing this with my Horbelleron, although on my Horbelleron we have got an awful lot of equipment actually, we it's weird. I, I go back on and I think yeah I, I have done well on that I just don't I've only just I think I've gone into debt on that to actually buy my second field because um, I've got 90 grand positive but not quite enough to buy a field I needed 148 so we sort of at a turning point on that as well but still think for how long I've been on this particular let's play we've actually done really well I think we've had some streamlined breaks with going into sugar beets and having the sugar beet harvester we're still a bit light on the equipment side I realise that uh, but we are we're beginning to got a decent yeah we're getting there we can actually sort of hire a few pieces 
if we change direction we've got a cedar as well now so yeah I don't think we're doing badly 17 grand cash plus we've got a, a production there as well which is not reduced the size of our field which is a nice surprise um, and it actually I think it quite goes well there would have liked a little bit more room here coming around there That's, I'm not quite pleased with that but it's nothing ever works quite as to plan as you think it does but I'm quite happy overall with what we how well we're doing for how long I've been on this let's play Hort Belleron I'm in my second second year yeah I've literally planted it's my second year of sugar cane I've harvested once I've still got to harvest a second time so yeah obviously you come in the year where you're literally ready to harvest actually yeah it's my third year thinking about it actually I had a field of potatoes the first year and I've done my own sugar cane the second year so I'm actually into my third year whereas this is still year one yeah it is because it'll be August will be a complete year August to August so yeah anyway we're doing well with that any further ado I'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>